Since you will open your Bible, I'm going to do it for you. This video is a little different. I have failed, backslid, and fell back into sin and failed God once again. But see, one thing I learned through this process is, is that Christian content creators and pastors will show you online that they are perfect and that they don't fail. But I'm here to tell you I have failed, and this is me giving accountability to you guys. So it seems like every time I really start going hard for God, reading my Bible, prayer, ministry at an all-time high, everything's going the way that I've prayed for it to. But that's when the enemy attacks and it's because I'm finally doing what I'm supposed to and stepping into my purpose. But see, the devil does this thing where he decides that he's going to keep this chain on you. When you fall back into sin, the devil puts a chain on you and he wants to convince you that that chain cannot come off. When you run back to God and you ask for forgiveness, you must forgive yourself as well. And there's times where I'll fall back into sin and I'll fail God and say, God, I can't do ministry anymore. I can't do videos anymore. I can't spread your love or even tell people I'm a Christian anymore because I failed you. But me doing that is activating that chain the devil had put on me and keeping that foothold and that stronghold there by not realizing my father has forgiven given that and that he's going to help me stay away and turn and repent from that sin and continue going away from it. But first I have to acknowledge that God broke that chain off of me. See, in this walk, it's not going to be a perfect walk like you wanted to. And we read in the Bible where it says that the flesh body that we have has these cravings. We see Paul say it where he says, I do what I hate and what I want to do, I don't do. And I'm paraphrasing. And that's how I feel. It's like I can't get away. I can't wait to get away from this body and this flesh because it's always there trying to tip me. It's like a shadow. No matter how much light is casted on, I can always look back and see it still sitting right there. And I want you to remember something. The Bible talks about things like this. When we see people where they backslid and sometimes there's consequences, sometimes there's conviction. I mean, we can't be mad when there's conviction and consequences. We did it to ourselves. I go commit a crime and rob a bank right now. I cannot look at the judge and say, hey, I'm so upset that you would even do this. Back when I used to get arrested for things when I was in the world, I would be cool with the cop. Like, yeah, my bad, bro. Like, you're just doing your job. I'm not tripping. God's just doing what he's here to do and what he set out and told you that he would do when we fall into these things. And when there's conviction involved, it really hurts. It makes me feel like I can't do things for God. When I fall back into sin, I feel like I can't do anything. And then we have the heresy hunters that come and say, oh, you sinned. You're a pastor. You're a Christian influencer, which I hate that term so much. I don't even know what a Christian influencer is. I think that we're all just influenced by Jesus and we, we do it, but whatever. Another topic, another discussion for another day. But I hate when you got these Christians that get in the comments and say, seven failed, seven backslid. He did wrong. He's a false prophet, false teacher. And it's like, dude, I failed. Help me get back up. Help me do this again. As Christians, we're going to fail. We're going to fall. And I'm not trying to speak that over you or speak negatively. But when you do, don't let the devil hold on to that one sin you failed. You could have did that sin last week and it still be having effects today by you not spreading the gospel, opening your word, or even going to God. So if you have fell back into sin, get back up and fight again. This is me trying to encourage you to just realize we're not perfect and we do struggle. And you're not a failure or a non-Christian or, or going to hell because you backslid. Now, if you're sinning and feel no conviction and you're bearing no fruit and you're sinning and you're just in your walk and you're just doing whatever you want and checking the boxes, then I'm kind of concerned for you. I'm not saying you don't have salvation. I'm just saying pray on it and ask God if you have that salvation. You know, and if we get to a point where we really question our salvation, we have to ask ourselves, how confident are we in this salvation that we have? You know what I mean? But yes, I failed, I backslid, I sinned again and I struggle and I'm fighting and I'm trying to lead so many people, but I have to fill my cup up too. I have to get in a routine where I'm feeding myself and taking care of myself at the same time because full-time ministry isn't hard. You get what I'm saying? But I just pray you guys take this message and not even a message, me just being accountable. You know what I mean? And hopefully being able to show you guys that, that we fail too. You get what I'm saying? But other than that, just to update you guys with everything going on in the ministry, we're still going strong with the church. We're still trying to get everything together for the prison side of ministry. Um, we're getting sleeping bags to the homeless, things like that. So anybody that wants to be a monthly partner, support what we do. The link will be down below. Um, you can donate, send stuff, ask for an address. We'll give it to you to send sleeping bags, whatever you would like. But thank you guys for listening. You have a blessed one and go open your Bible.